The Last of Us takes place 20 years after the start of a modern pandemic that has decimated much of the world's population and left the survivors to fend for themselves in a post-apocalyptic world. Players control Joel, a smuggler tasked with escorting a 14-year-old girl, Ellie, across the post-apocalyptic United States. Throughout the game, they must traverse different environments while contending with hostile human survivors, infected humans, and various wildlife. The game is a third-person shooter with additional stealth elements. The player roams around a post-apocalyptic world filled with zombie-like creatures and unmerciful human gangs. Graphic-wise, the game offers a stunning and beautiful game environment. The combat system consists of using firearms, melee, and stealth method. Enemies are mainly humans and infected zombie-like creatures. The PlayStation 5 version was completely enhanced with new graphics and a solid 60 frames per second, making this version the definitive way to play the game. Set in a post-apocalyptic version of the Pacific Northwest region of the United States, players control the protagonist Deacon St. John, a former outlaw turned drifter and bounty hunter who is searching for the whereabouts of his wife. The game follows Deacon as he attempts to survive in a world filled with hostile humans and freakers, zombie-like creatures created from a global pandemic. The game's main enemies are the hordes of zombie-like creatures, called Freakers, who are infected with a virus that has caused them to become mindless, feral creatures. Freakers come in different varieties, ranging from the fast-moving and agile swarmas to the powerful and resilient Raegers. Other human enemies also roam the world, such as marauders, cultists, and militia. The PlayStation 5 version of Days Gone features improved visuals, higher frame rates, and faster loading times. Players can also take advantage of the DualSense controller's haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, creating a more immersive experience. Dying Light Tuesday Human is an open-world survival horror game. It acts as a direct sequel to Dying Light following the same storyline. The game takes place 22 years after the events of its predecessor. The player takes control of Aiden, an infected survivor, looking for his missing sister. Visiting the new city builder Aiden must take on missions and quests from various factions across the city struggling for power and resources. The game is entirely seen from a first-person perspective, with a huge emphasis on parkour and melee combat. During the day the city is mostly populated by human factions and survivors, the real action occurs at night when everyone hides inside and zombie lurks on the streets. During your journey you can use and modify weapons at ease, killing zombies and completing missions will gain you EXP points which can be exploited to unlock new skills and moves. Overall, the game did a great job of improving some of the previous title mechanics and enhancing the gameplay with new content. Back 4 Blood is a cooperative first-person shooter video game. It is set in the same universe as Turtle Rock's previous title Left 4 Dead and is intended to be a spiritual successor to the game. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic world where a virus has infected most of humanity, transforming them into vicious creatures called the Ridden. Players take on the role of four cleaners, survivors attempting to rid the world of the Ridden by any means necessary. Gameplay in Back 4 Blood is intended to be similar to that of Left 4 Dead. 
players are able to choose from a variety of different characters, each with their own unique abilities and weapons. The game feature a variety of game modes, including a campaign mode, where players will work together to complete objectives, a PvP mode, where teams of players will compete against each other, and a co-op mode, where players will work together to survive against hordes of enemies. While the game doesn't hold up to its legendary prequel, the game is still worth it for co-op and zombie lovers alike. DayZ is a zombie survival game, with a huge emphasis on multiplayer, the game takes place in a fictional Soviet city called Cherneris. Following the event of a mysterious plague spreading in the city, the player must survive by acquiring resources while fighting both zombies and other survivors. The player starts the game with only a few clothes and resources in his hand, he must scavenge the huge map looking for food, water, and medicine. Interacting with other players is crucial as it can save you from several situations by trading, cooperating, and exchanging information. Overall, DayZ is a well-built MMO hybrid game if you're looking for a fun multiplay. In Killing Floor 2, players assume the role of a member of a team of up to six players who must battle waves of genetically modified Zeds, monstrous clones of humans that have been created by a rogue science corporation, the Horzine Corporation. Players must survive each wave of Zeds, which becomes progressively more difficult as the game progresses while completing various objectives. Players can choose from a variety of weapons and perks to customize their character before the match. Players can also team up with other players to form clans, or groups of players who are dedicated to working together in order to survive the waves of Zeds. Dead Rising 4 is an open-world survival horror video game, it is the fourth installment in the Dead Rising series. The game follows protagonist Frank West, who returns to the fictional Willamette, Colorado, 16 years after the events of the original Dead Rising. West must investigate the cause of a new zombie outbreak while fighting off a military special forces group, called the Obscurus, who are attempting to cover up the incident. The game features an open-world environment in which players can explore and complete missions at their own pace. Dead Rising 4 features a variety of new features, such as the ability to construct makeshift weapons from found objects and the ability to combine existing weapons to create more powerful variations. The game also introduces a new exosuit, which gives Frank enhanced strength and agility. Overall, the game is well-balanced and offers huge content to keep you busy for hours and hours. Zombie Army Trilogy is a third-person zombie shooter game, think of this game as a straight sniper elite game with zombies. The story starts with Hitler on the verge of losing the war against the Allies, desperate for the outcomes of the war, Hitler launches the last plan, Plan Z unleashing an army of Nazi zombies. The game can be played offline solo or online co-op, with up to four players in the same game. Three story campaigns are available, to take on as well as the Endless Horde mode, up to eight playable characters, are available from the beginning including males and females, also, you can choose weapon type and explosive to take on with you at the beginning of every level. The level's design is decent offering a dark atmosphere with an almost black and white color palette and a foggy environment. 
Overall, this is a great game especially if you enjoyed the Sniper Elite series, this is exactly the same concept, replacing soldiers with zombies. Seven Days to Die is an open-world survival horror game combining elements of shooting, tower defense, and resource management. The player starts in a randomly generated world where the goal is to survive a harsh world full of lurking zombie creatures. The player can start off by gathering resources and crafting tools to build bases and useful structures. Everything in the game is destructible allowing the player to make use of every resource possible. Similar to Minecraft, the player can use various types of materials to build up many different structures. After spending seven days in the game's world, the player must survive the seven days' hordes of zombies. Overall, the game is fairly decent with fun gameplay and an interesting building system. The game is available on the PlayStation 5 system as a backward compatible title. Resident Evil 7 is a survival horror video game, it acts as the 11th major installment in the Resident Evil series, and the first main series installment to be played from a first-person perspective. The game follows Ethan Winters, who is searching for his missing wife in a derelict plantation mansion. He soon finds himself fighting against the Baker family, who have been infected by a virus known as the Mold. As he progresses, Ethan must confront Jack Baker, the head of the family, as well as other enemies such as the molded creatures. Ethan is aided by the mysterious Mia, who has a connection to the Baker family and the mold. Gameplay-wise, developers made sure to get back to the roots of the series with more of a survival approach, where each bullet counts. Also, the game takes huge emphasis on puzzles offering an old-school experience with next-gen graphics. The Resident Evil 3 Remake is a reimagining of the classic 1999 survival horror game. It follows the original game's story and gameplay, but with updated graphics, improved controls, and additional features and content. Players take on the role of Jill Valentine, one of the few survivors of a zombie outbreak in the fictional Raccoon City. She must fight her way through hordes of zombies and other monsters while uncovering the mystery of the outbreak, all while being pursued by a relentless nemesis. The gameplay of Resident Evil 3 Remake is similar to the original game, but with modernized controls and mechanics. The game also introduces a new mechanic called dodging. This allows players to quickly dodge enemy attacks and projectiles, allowing them to avoid taking damage. Players can also find and purchase weapons, including handguns, shotguns, and rifles. These weapons can be used to fight off hordes of zombies and monsters. Players can also collect herbs and health items to restore their health and gain access to special areas. It took years and multiple development studios to bring a sequel to Dead Island. Fortunately, the wait has ended, and you can dive right into Dead Island 2. The game takes place several years after the first installment, where we're now dealing with a zombie plague outbreak in California. You're just one of the unlucky few stuck in Los Angeles and on a journey to find an escape. Soon into the game, your protagonist will discover they are immune to the disease, and their blood could be the cure, but it's a long way to reach an extraction point.
gameplay is similar to the first installment, focusing on melee combat. Fortunately, you can play this game online with friends.